My congratulations goes out to Ryan Garcia for knocking out Fonseca a minute and 20 seconds into the first round. That was quicker than Javante Tank Davis and a more impressive performance than Tevin Farmer. He showed that he's solid and he sold me out on this fight. If Barrera wasn't the baby assassin, then Ryan Garcia would have took that nickname. You could call him the pretty assassin because he out here knocking out cats in the first round like Dono and Fonseca, which is unheard of. At the same time, they keep judging a book by his cover. They think he's all sweet due to the fact that he don't look like the tough guy. So they judge a book by his cover like I told y'all previously. However, sometimes you have to make the extra step of opening the book and reading the book and getting to know the person. And Ryan, he seemed to be solid. And what more can you ask from the young gun when he's calling out the best? From Javante to Linares to Javante Tank Davis next in 2020. So I'm all for it. Of course, he named Devin Haney last. And Devin Haney obviously pointed that out, saying that Javante basically is a harder fight to make. How come you're going to name him before you name me? But that's another video for a different day. I will upload that right after this video. But for the meantime, Ryan Garcia did what he was supposed to do with Fonseca. And he even compared his left hook to the famous Robertson left hook. And for the ones that don't know, Sugar Ray Robertson is possibly or ultimately is the best pound for pound fighter in boxing period. He's the GOAT when it comes to pound for pound, it's Sugar Ray Robertson. And they started the term pound for pound because Sugar Ray Robertson was so good and they wanted to give attention to the lower weight divisions because the heavyweight division had all the attention. So they named Sugar Ray Robertson as the greatest pound for pound fighter of all time. So that being said, Sugar Ray Robertson is known for stepping back, moving back and catching a fighter with a left hook counter and that's what Ryan is basically was referring to. And that's how he knocked out for Nseka. However, to compare him to Sugar Ray Robertson is out of his lead. And that's just a different round period. However, to be the best, you have to learn from the best. And that's what Ryan Garcia did. And that's exactly what he's doing. So good luck to the youngin. But at the same time, of course, he's calling out the best. So I'm all for it. Oscar De La Hoya faced the same problems that Ryan Garcia is facing today, which is people judged him by the book of the cover. And Oscar went the path of fighting the best and became a star in the game. So Ryan is looking to actually follow the steps of Oscar De La Hoya and not Canelo Alvarez, because we all know Canelo Alvarez is the exact opposite of what Oscar De La Hoya used to be. Canelo is the ultimate businessman. He building his stocks at Wall Street and building a wall. However, his stocks is not rising. Meanwhile, Ryan Garcia is about to take the throne and he represented Mexico well because he's willing to fight the best and is calling out the best. So we'll see if he fight Linares next. That's a great fight. Linares himself won by an impressive KO by going to the body, then to the head. He suffered a cut, but he called out Ryan Garcia. So if Ryan Garcia is for real and he's sincere, he will fight Linares next. And if that's the case, then we all know he's willing to fight Javante. If he's willing to risk it with Linares, that's a dangerous opponent. And yeah, he brings respect to the table. However, it's a huge risk with it. So if he fights Linares, that will tell me he's willing to step in the ring with Javante, Devin Haney, and all of the above. That being said, appreciate all my keys. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decaps, aka dumbass casual fans slash old media. Shout out to DBN for starting the new media wave. And of course, if you're a casual fan and you want to graduate, and become a hardcore all you have to do is attend the IQ University for free every Sunday live on split decision by subscribing below and clicking on the notification bell to get notified every time we post or go live on split decision which we're going to talk about Devin Haney Ryan Garcia and all of the above so stay tuned call in tune in and I appreciate all my IQs 
and to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki A TV. Peace and we are here.